Hello, my name is Nikita. Today I am going to talk about how we can write smart contracts using Rust programming language and also I will show how we can deploy our contract to any substrate based chain. So how it works. We will use in framework to create our contract. Also we are going to use cargo contract tools to compile the contracts Rust code to WebAssembly and after that we will deploy dot contract file to substrate base chain that include itself contracts palette. There are some module for smart contracts that provide functionality to execute contracts, access to contract storage, etc. There are some comparison between Inc framework and Solidity, Inc vs Cosm Wasm. We will not go deeper to detail but go to documentation and see how we can create our first contract so go to visual studio past it and we will see folder flipper with the rust project uh, and um, we see there some model that we specify that this model contains the code of our contract so ink contract especially after that we define some structure and this is storage of our contract and this field will contains value of our flipper so it's like a tumbler true false um, depends of um, what actually the value are in storage right now and we define implementation for our flipper and specify that there are some function new that can receive boolean value with name init value and we specify that there are constructor that we can use to create our contract when we will deploy it to some chain there are other construction constructor default that we use default value there there will be false and to change value in our storage our contract storage we specify function flip annotate this uh, attribute message and the um, external method that we can call to interact with our contract with our deployed, deployed contract in some chain. Inside this method we just change actual value to opposite value. And there are other method get with annotation message. And this message uh, this method uh, return actual value that's stored in our contract. There are some tests. We will not run them right now but uh, let's build our contract go to flipper folder and run command cargo contract build and we will receive three files dot wasm dot contract and dot json So now we can deploy our contract to some chain. There are great documentation and we can choose substrate network and there are some several options. We can deploy to our local substrate node or we can deploy to canvas network. Let's choose uh, canvas network. Go to Polkadot substrate and um, choose contracts um, substrate chain go to developer contracts and uh, press upload and deploy the um, we will find our file dot contract press next and as you can see there are two 
different option that we can initialize our contract. One of them is default. Default method that we declare before and it don't receive this method doesn't receive any parameters so we we can't specify any value and there are other option new method that will receive init value during deployment process so let's initialize initialize our contract with the true value for our flipper so just press deploy sign and submit i don't know something wrong with the contracts base chain so i run few seconds ago my local node let's switch to this node go to the same developer contracts press upload and deploy code and we can we can choose my account or we can choose predefined development account for deployment the alice bob dave eve so i will choose alice find um, flipper contract next um, i will set up through for initial value and sign and submit great i i see that uh, the flipper contract and the one endpoint like message that we defined in our contract like flip and now i can execute submit transaction and we will see that um, current value is false and now it's true and now it's false great have a nice day bye